Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I have a little project to show you um, how I used this faux leather that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And this one is, I showed it on one of my hauls, but this one is a textured material and it's a little thick, thicker than this one. This is a pink with glitter on it and this one's a little bit thinner. And with this one, I can use my regular um, dies, like the thin dies, and cut things out with it. So I used this die that said thank you, and you can see how thin it is, and it worked great. It's just another way of using a different type of material or medium for your projects. And then this one, I cut a small bow, and you can see this little tag, and also a balloon. So I just tried different dies, and this is how clean the uh, cut, how clean the cut was when I, I used the small, or the thin dies on this material. Now on this one that's a little bit thicker, I couldn't get it to cut, but I did use my steel rule die and it cut beautifully with that. So if you have the, the steel rule dies, this cuts perfect with that um, through this material. So that's one thing I tried. And then I also made these tassels and these are adorable. Um, I used the pink one and then this uh, teal color and I'm going to show you how I made that and uh, I have another video that I showed you how to make the paper ones using the Martha Stewart fringe scissors and that's what these are. Now uh, I couldn't cut this material with the fringe scissors but it's very simple to cut with your regular scissors and and this is great for those of you that don't have the fringe scissors but uh, like I said you can't cannot cut it with the fringe scissors but this is only three inches by uh, one and a half and then I just make a line on the back side a quarter inch down and that's where I'll stop my uh, cut for my fringe and leave this part here to add the uh, wire and the cap and the pin. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll just I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut small slits and you can make these whatever width you want. So I'm just gonna continue on like this. And then I'll come back when I've got it all cut. Okay now I have it all cut and I'm going to start rolling from one end and do it as tightly as you can. Start rolling it. It's looking pretty good. And you don't have that much to roll so it goes pretty easy. And there we are. We've got it all rolled up. And now we're going to go ahead and add our wire. And this is just floral wire that I have, and it's uh, 26 gauge. And you can get this at Michael's at the uh, floral department. And so I'm going to start with a piece coming from, well, the end facing up. And then I'm going to start winding it down here at the base. And then just, it's very easy to do. So just try to line it up with the previous wrap and that way you get a nice solid coverage all the way around so oops I hope I'm in frame and just start winding it around That's looking pretty good and then you can always push it down to even things and get them closer together if there's a space in between the wrapping. Okay. 
Okay, so you just continue doing that. And I'll meet you back up when I've got it at the very top, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm at the very top now. And that's okay if you leave a little bit of the leather showing. And I'm going to stop right here where my extension piece began and cut that off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist these two together. And that kind of helps to hold everything in place. And then I'm going to fold it over and curve it so that it misses that center starting point so we could add our um, our eyelet, which is this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the wire so that it just is inside the top of that. So when we put our bead cap, it covers everything up. So we'll go ahead and cut this down because we don't need it that long. And we'll insert that into the center. Well, first we're going to add some glossy accents to be able to seal everything. So I'm going to add a glob of glossy accent. Oops. And that's going to go right back into that center hole. If I can find it. Hard to see it. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see. Bead cap first. And this is what's great if you want to do silver, you can do silver or gold, whatever color metal you want to use. So there we have this all put together and all you have to do is just stand it up and let it dry. And that's my project and these tassels are awesome to use with or use on your planners, on your pocket letters, and now the flip book pages. That's what I'm gonna add these two uh, pieces to. I did a flip book and um, hopefully you enjoyed this project. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I think that's all I got for you. So take care everyone, thanks for watching.